Hey everyone, I'm doing a quick walk around of the Spider F3S by BRP in the beautiful manta green color. I like to call it chartreuse though because that's way sexier. It's a beautiful vehicle. Uh, mine came installed with the passenger seat. It, these seats are so comfortable, so soft and comfortable. Uh, but it also came with the seat cowl. So when you're not towing a passenger, move the seat and install it here. As you can see, the passenger seat comes with handlebars, obviously a footrest. I intend to change these to the floorboards. Uh, what else? What else? What else? It's just a quick walk around. And then I'll tell you about some of the other features and some of the things I don't like. One thing, I love everything about the vehicle. One thing, the only thing I don't like is the fact that it did not come with the fog lights. So we'll have to get that installed. It has this frunk, which I absolutely love. And I'll show you how to unlock that and tell you about my experience with the frunk already. So to unlock the frunk, you press down. You probably heard it click. And then you have room for head wraps or whatever you want to put in there. I put a head wrap in it. So when I take my helmet off, if I have helmet head, guess what? I have a head wrap in here. It comes with the USB port and an auxiliary cord. Now, if you're like me, you know that it's supposed to come with it, but it was missing. Like when I received the vehicle, there was a hole here. So I had to remove this cover inside the tray and go inside and retrieve this aux auxiliary cord. But I wanted to note that because as you know, if you're looking at one of these BRP, they're having a lot of parts issues. So issues. So this actually came with a missing part. I had to wait for the part to come and this was not pulled through. So I removed all these and then popped this up. They're all um, plastic screws. They remove easily. You remove this cover, remove the liner, and then fed, fed the cords back through here. Uh, but the tr the frunk system is awesome and if you don't know what frunk is it's a front trunk it's a frunk <laughs> and you just push to close the brp connect button is here so when you connect your phone to the brp connect you'll actually leave your phone in the frunk you connect it to the usb cord um you do the blue bluetooth connection first and then if you use an, an app like rever which is a gps app for motorcycles the gps will come up here each time you turn it on you have to acknowledge the safety the safety information before you can move the vehicle and to acknowledge that system you press sport mode you, sp you press the mode button now this vehicle has three modes you have econ eco sport and regular mode uh, what else? It also has cruise control. Awesome. It has a reverse function. You'll have to hold this button and press this toggle switch in the back to put it in reverse. This is it's semi automatic, so this is your upshifter. The vehicle will downshift on its own, or you can choose to downshift again by pressing the button back here. Uh, what else? What else do you guys need to know? These are your buttons for making selections when you do try to connect your phone with the Bluetooth when you go through that menu. I'll go ahead and acknowledge that warning. And it goes away. Oh, the warning that I just acknowledged. Before you acknowledge it, you're supposed to read the safety card, which is located here. You just turn this, open it up, and the safety card is attached on the inside of here. What else do you guys need to know? For my new riders, this is your accelerator and your brake is down here. It's a really easy vehicle to drive. I have no regrets so far. And if you do want a Can-Am Spider, I certainly recommend this one. Oh, I need to turn it on so you guys can hear it, right? So if you do decide to get a Canem Spider or you're interested in a vehicle or you choose another Bombardier vehicle, let me know in the comments.